The creative sector is among the newly emerging industries emerging in the 20th century. Like many others, it has faced its own evolution. On one part, the message has evolved. The messages that creatives portray have held societies together through time. They paint, recite, create, recreate, innovate, renovate. They imagine and portray our past, present and future. Without them, humanity is void. On the other, the mediums have adapted, adapted to suit the audiences and the current realities in which we exist. They have adapted to improve communication and exchange to bridge social divides brought by inequalities and imbalance of power. What has seemed to pull us back in all this progression is the reality that we can only plan for and not predict the future. And so, in the 21st century, when the sector is expected to flourish, drawing the attention of regional and global regulatory instruments, it has an unforeseen shift. What the shift means differs with the capacity of the creatives operating in this environment. Creatives operating within a socio-economic backlash. Bye-bye. Welcome to the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. Economically, we are stuck. And my name is Shaik Shaik. Said, said, recently Econet has increased their tariffs for bundles as shown on the graph instance with the usual 8 gig private Wi Fi moving from 1560 to 2030. This increase was done in a bid to curb and reduce Chihure activity that has been happening in the country due to lockdown restrictions. As you can see from our data versus Chihure analysis, as the data price is low, Chihure activity is high. However, despite the inverse relationship, as the data price keeps going high, Zimbabwe is still unstoppable. Hence, Chihure activity has even jumped to 110% at the current data prices. Zupco initially hiked their prices by 100% in the beginning of July as shown to deter and avoid movement from money changers and hustlers from entering the CBD. However, this then also struck essential service workers who couldn't afford the new Zupke fares of 60 bond and 90 bond for Team Ghetto and Team Rural respectively. Team Rural being Norton Chitunguiza and rural residents. Hence, they had to lower the prices again as shown. What a Zupko stuck moment. No wonder why they are actually Zipico. Due to the lootings that has been happening in the foreign markets, our basic goods are expected to be as shown, with most basic goods being expected to go down with only a few jumping up. Basic goods such as short time and coffins still remain on demand. Our top 5 gainer commodities for the week are as shown on the screen, with Chihure still remaining on top with up to 110% gain, and Rocky gaining at number 5 from the alleged Coffee Olo Media collabo. As soon as this collabo drops and due to the artist's history, increased demand in condoms is expected with morning after pills even running out. Our top 5 loser commodities are as shown as South Africa claims the biggest losers on position 1 and position 2 as both Ramaphosa and Kaiser Chiefs were victims of looting. Our economy for the first time is at third position and not on number 1. Thank you. This has been the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. And economically, we are stuck. My name has been Shaikh Shaikh Said Said, your financial analyst. Yes, you. Bye. So now, since the pandemic came, it has really been a, a life threatening for us here. We uh, have very few clients coming over. We no longer do the classes that used to give us money. We only maintain, you know, the, the supported one, the mentorship class, but even that one, we're not really teaching. So what, what actually happened is uh, I really panicked and really thought maybe I was going to stop art. 
I thought, okay, maybe I'm going to start agriculture. You know, that's how I went to the local chief, Chief Mukuni, to ask for land to say, you know, okay, I would like to start farming because with this pandemic, I'm not sure where it's going. So fortunately, through the royal establishment, we're given land, which we call now Waiwai Creatives Village. And the idea is to do art, you know, is to do tourism and, you know, even agriculture, you know. So what happened is uh, I was fortunate enough because I've known some people who've been, you know, like my mentor over the past 30 years. One of them is a board member and uh, I got two other women from around the world who are board members. They decided to put up GoFundMe, which also raised money to kickstart it. So there are things that have happened, like right now we're almost done with the caretaker's house. We are almost putting a boho and the plantings that we started much earlier, you know, they've been maintained and some other things are going on. What has actually happened is uh, the coming of the Creatives Village has helped the local community a lot. You know, it has employed women, it has employed men, and it has helped in a way to train them to see things at a different level. So for me, the Creatives Village has been a lifeline for me. It has been something which has really helped me to, to keep alive during this pandemic. In terms of challenges at the moment, especially with the COVID pandemic, uh, Music for Change definitely has faced some, some challenges, you know, it's, it hasn't been easy to work in an environment where you can't have public gatherings because they are not permitted at the moment and you know that artists thrive on performances and doing shows, road shows, concerts, we're not having all these things. But wait a minute, we are creatives and so we create creative ways and new ways of working such as doing virtual concerts where we are performing online live on facebook collaborating with other artists such as you know wezi um, esther chungu pompi and many other artists that i've worked with you know, on virtual concerts sometimes we are fundraising through virtual means other times we just you know stage a concert and work with the brand and then maybe we put like a pop-up or a backdrop of that particular brand for example a company and that company basically pays for that performance to happen whereas people watch it for free uh, you know via Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and one of the biggest lessons through this COVID pandemic is that you need to save for rainy days you know because you never know what tomorrow holds so as creatives let's continue being creative big up Hello everyone, let me tell you a brief about HIVOS. HIVOS is an international development organization that is inspired by humanist values. Our mission is to amplify and connect voices that promote social and environmental justice and challenge power imbalances. Some of our values include freedom and dignity, responsible citizenship, self-determination and diversity, quality and justice, is really sustainable use of our planet's resources. We totally believe in people, and people and uh, their organizations are at the heart of what we do. Hence our tagline, People Unlimited. Now let me tell you about our room project. It was together with uh, our partners, and for the past four years, we've been implementing the room project. The room project uh, contributes towards uh, safeguarding and uh, opening up of uh, civic space. The project uh, falls under our civic rights in a digital age uh, impact area. Uh, this uh, thematic area includes issues to do with uh, free expression and use of uh, online platforms. And we believe that uh, we can contribute towards a progressive society uh, through the use of, uh, through the work of content creators and uh, we can also push uh, for dialogue and sometimes uh, dissent uh, in our society. Now let me tell you about the impact of COVID-19 on the Room project. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected our content creators in many ways. Uh, with the closure of the physical spaces, detachment from co-working resources, fast-paced digitalization, reduced investment in the creative sector, all these have contributed to affect uh, content creators in a negative way. 
and all these have been identified in the research that we commissioned as EVOS uh, called the New Ways of Working. And in these new ways of working, uh, we also identified ways in which we can build resilience and adaptation in the creative set. The Results of Open Minds project focuses on the importance of art and media to bring about both social and structural change. Uh, the project in itself is really unique in that it targets creatives and makers. These are hubs, individuals and entities that are already producing audiovisual counter-hegemonic content. It is among our objectives that these makers continue to create and to produce more of this critical cultural content, that they are able to reach diverse and wider audiences, that they become sustainable, they build their capacity both at individual as well as collective level, and that they also retain their independence. The new ways of working for creatives is an approach that fights that the creative industry remains relevant during these uncertain and unpredictable pandemic times. So we are no longer only focusing on content creation, but also on the sustainability of the creative industry as a whole. Um, the approach in itself asks questions, questions like what is the new norm? What new approaches can we incorporate in order to continue producing our content and to continue working? And what systems are there to support the creative sector if they are any? The audiovisual letters to creators are in itself a new capacity building approach in which we are steering intergenerational conversation through the lived experiences and through history and memory of the carefully curated creative experts. So we did manage to capture the voices from all three countries, Malawi, Zambia and Zimbabwe, both male and female, and hearing the, the experiences from storytellers, musicians, we have a mixed media artist, a talk show founder and host, and um, all of them are sharing very critical information that is useful to the younger generation. We do hope that through this activity, younger artists and makers, all these young and upcoming creators, are encouraged to continue on their creative journey. We want them to continue to fight for, for space, to fight for freedom, as well as to continue demanding accountability. Out of 10,000 houses, Zagu Defense Force, Zagu Police, how many have you constructed the police? A blind panda, a blind and, panda, and, and, and a blind panda, 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 a no, Am I a robot or a No, no, no. It's, it's, uh, what, what is your you, you don't... We, I must justify the government program. Okay. Okay. They justified. But I want you, Mugama Marisa Munduze Gudi, out of the promise of 10,000, Tamangama Gudi, Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
there have been a substantial amount of jobs that have been created. Um, I may not give you the exact figures, uh, but what I can say is that uh, jobs are being created every day. Enimboni used to be the king's public advisor, the king's praise poet or the king's public advisor. So the king is not naturally very close to people, to his people. And the person who is close to his people is uh, the poet. And the poet normally would praise the king, you know, under a tree gathered, people gathered, and the poet says, Oh, king, you are great, you are this, you are that, you, you have conquered. But the, the poet also has the capacity, the capacity to say, Oh, king, but if you are killing everybody, who are you going to rule? That has the capacity to either build or destroy very easily. Art is powerful, but it has the capacity to either build or destroy. I believe uh, my art has been instrumental in trying to build harmony among our people. Some of the work that the works of uh, ghetto youth or ghetto youths uh, resonate with people because get, these ghetto youths are literally living with people and they're articulating issues that affect people every day. Issues that are a reflection of what the society is like. Tell your stories. Um, make sure that um, as you tell your stories, because all stories are local, but you should always bear in mind that somebody is going to read it who has never been to Zimbabwe, who has never been to Zambia, to Malawi, or to Southern Africa. And they should still be able to relate to that story, because a story is just the drama of uh, human condition. And the human condition is the same pretty much anywhere in the world. Each part of the world, they have got their own dramas, they have got their own sorrows, and so on and so forth. So what we do in storytelling is that we just want to have these uh, uh, recreated on a piece of paper. So, yeah, let me, in conclusion then, um, all I would like to say is uh, let us tell our stories, let us encourage each other, let us build each other with uh, constructive criticism, let us use the social media space to tell our stories and uh, to get noticed globally. Let us look for publishing opportunities. There are many online journals that you can send your stories to. Dear creatives, are you telling your stories? Shall you be belittled by the circumstances? Rather, as b -Flow emphasizes... Wait a minute, we are creatives. And so, we create creative ways and new ways of working regardless of what we see around us. Are you aware of your hopes and aspirations? Do you know what it takes to succeed? Are you looking into your identity as a source of motivation? What have others before you achieved? How did they begin? Where are they now? Slow progress is still progress. As Zambia is still working towards achieving the fourth sustainable development goal, which seeks to have all girls and boys complete free, equitable, and quality education. But Sheba Hantale is an 11-year-old girl in Kalomo town of Southern Province who is an example of many children still not going to school due to lack of financial support. However, the girl has ventured into the art of sculpturing where she makes different kinds of animals for sale and contributes to buying of food for the family of four. 
Further, Bathsheba has created a small exhibition room that she calls a museum and is made out of sticks, which consists of a sculptured animals that she exhibits to locals and those passing by. She charges one kwacha as entry fee. <laughs> <laughs> Father to the girl, Abraham Hantale, explains that it has been hard for him to get peace works, hence failing to take the girl and her two siblings to school. He has appealed to well-wishers to assist him educate his children. It is evident that if given a professional touch and education, such talent would change Bathsheba's family, community, and guarantee her a bright future. Reporting for Alliance for Community Action in Kalomo District, Amako Kwa Clara Miendekwa. and came to the village, uh, I thought of what I could do to help my community. The first thing I thought of was uh, helping the children. Uh, the children in the villages, in the rural areas, they don't have, they don't have uh, enough time to learn English. Yet in schools, the subjects, most of the subjects are in English. So I started uh, offering, teaching them some basic English just to help them. Then uh, uh, things were growing up, but they're growing up. We have a nursery school. Uh, we have uh, primary school kids who come to, to learn uh, not just English plus other uh, things. Plus also we have included sporting activities, art, artistic works. Uh, I'm also in partnership with uh, uh, an organization which is bringing some trainings like, uh, like motorcycle repairing, uh, tailoring, uh, bakery stuff. So these are the things which are also uh, happening here munyekedi mzimbabwe munhu yese ari kukurudzirwa kuti aite zvanokwanisa havatarire kuti murume kana kuti mukadzi nekuti kana mubumbiro redu remutemo riri kusumudza vanhu nemabasa avo kuti itai zvamunokwanisa asi dzimwe nguva makudzirwa atakaitwa tsikadzedu nemagariro 
kana tisinga budi mune zvimwe zvacho pamutora batingodzokera mashure nekuti pamwe kwaive ne zvakasiyana siyana zvekunzi a mwana sikana hangaitizvi mwana kumana hangaitizvi kare ikotaizwa kuti kana mapfekero chaiwo aienda nebasa raita munhu izvi zvine zvimabasa asununguka tine vana vasikana ma engineer vanenge vachirembera vachigadzira magetsi mutambo vachigadzira mafoni vachita sei vana tofekwa zvinokodzira vakadziwo varumeo tinozva kuti kunyange mahotera idumu mune varume vari kushanda basa rata imbofunga kuti munhu rumanga bikere munhu kadzanga itere izvi ese mabasa muno muzimbabwe anokurudzirwa bachi yekuchidzana kuti covid 19 menyuiriko ngati chenjerere ngati one zvatinoita asi covid 19 yaita sekuvhara nyika yaita sekuvhara mabasa yaita sekuvhara mafambiro atanga takajaira emhuri asi zvinhu zvese kare hagari ari kare kuya kwaita covid kwavhuro vanhu maziso kare isusu basa rediri tainoshanda ma studios kuine vanhu vakawanda tichida kunzwa kupfungwa dzakasiyana siyana dzakawanda asa hatingamire nekuti hatizo kuti covid inopera rini iye zvinota kungoti dzimwe nguva kana tine musoro wenyaya watiri kutarisa tinongotora nyanzi chete vanhu vatatu vanhu vana tokurukura navo ivavo zvimwe zvataka kushandisa masai sai social media mufunge mwari vanoziva chaizvo vaiziva zvavo takambi tichiona social media vanhu vachifunga kuti pamwe ndiye kutandara vamwe vachifunga kuti ndiye makuwa vamwe vachifunga kuti ndiye kudanana vamwe vachifunga nekuti zvese zvatinotaura izvi zviri mo social media asi ye zvinotaka kutona manje kuti social media ndo atomsimboti takugona kuita misangano yebasa pa social media takugona kukurukura chiripo ripo tiri pa social media zvakare inokurumidza kufambisa basa saka tatoni nzira dzakawanda wanda dzatiri kuita mabasa asi kufamba kuye kwaimbobatsiro zvino hakuna hakuna chino chinoipa hakuna chino nakisa zvese zvasangana ye zvino asi tinoda kuti titende kuti kana tasangana nedambudziko kana kuti tasangana nekumanikwa tinokurumidza kufunga kuita zvimwe